us the application of the transformation W equal to iota Z plus 1 over Z plus iota to the areas in the Z plane to the unit circle with its center at the origin, right? So let's start with the solution. The unit circle with the center at the origin is given by, yes, mod of Z equal to 1, yes, it is centered at the origin where this radius is equal to 1 and the given transformation is w equal to iota z plus 1 over z plus iota fine okay to find the inverse transformation we just write the value of the z in terms of w from here so z equal to 1 minus iota w divided by w minus iota and now for mod z equal to r that is the circle centered at zero with any radius right and we have to put the value of the inverse transformation over here that is we get that value in terms of w right so we have to put this value over here and let's square both the sides first and we know that this mod of z square is z into z bar please note over here please note this so this is z into z bar is equal to r square. And now putting the value of z here, that is 1 minus iota w divided by w minus iota into the conjugate 1 plus iota w bar divided by w bar plus iota. This is equal to r square. And now just multiplying these two, first we are going to multiply the numerators. So we get 1 plus iota w bar minus iota w and this is minus iota square that becomes positive w w bar and this is equal to r square into multiplying the denominators we get w w bar plus w iota minus iota w bar and this is minus iota squared that is plus 1 and then if I take this r square common I get from w w bar and this one right here also I'm having w w bar and this one so from here I get 1 minus r square into 1 plus w w bar right and then minus left the remaining terms are yes it is 1 plus r square into iota into w minus w bar is equal to 0. Please check this. And then further, this is equal to 1 minus r square into, alright. I know that w is equal to u plus iota v. And w bar is equal to u minus iota v. So what is the product of w w bar? It is u square plus v square. So writing here 1 plus u square plus v square minus this is 1 plus r square into yes if I subtract these two what I get I get this to be as 2 iota v and here I'm having iota so this will be plus 2v equal to 0. So from here I get the value of 2v as r square minus 1 divided by r square plus 1 into u square plus v square plus 1. Fine. Okay. Now when v is equal to 0, if this r is equal to 1, right? That is the circle mod z equal to 1. For the unit circle, v becomes 0. v equal to 0 means v equal to 0 means this unit circle is transformed into the real axis in the w plane yes okay and also if v is negative then r is strictly less than 1 yes and if v is positive r should be strictly greater than 1 right let's write all these conclusions together for 2v equal to r square minus 1 divided by r square plus 1 into u square plus v square plus 1 the conclusions number 1 
when v is 0, when r is equal to 1, that is for the unit circle, right? That is, the circle mod z equal to 1 is transformed into v equal to 0, that is the real axis. So, mod z equal to 1 is transformed into the real axis. Is transformed into the real axis. That is v equal to 0. For real axis, v is 0, right? Next, second, when v is negative, when r is strictly less than 1, which means the interior of the circle mod z equal to 1, is transformed into the lower half of the plane. Here V is negative. And then third, when V is positive, when R is strictly greater than 1, which means the exterior of the circle is transformed into the upper half of the plane for V positive. So these are the conclusions we get from that result. Alright, thank you.